Hi, my name is Isaac and this is a 2020 Toyota Tundra and this is a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And today I'm going to compare them for you guys. You know, when I was on my way here, I was headed out the door and my dad was like, oh, you're going to wear sweatpants to your truck review? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, that seems a little unprofessional. And I was like, ah, yeah, right. Like anyone's going to notice I'm wearing sweatpants. It's a pickup truck review. And then the second I said that, I realized that I doomed myself to somebody in the comments being like, Ugh. Overall, a very informative review of the Toyota Tacoma versus the Toyota Tundra. I thought the editing was quite good, and his charismatic personality was very entertaining. But one immediate drawback that completely took me out of the video and completely broke the realism for me was that the host was wearing sweatpants. Dislike. Before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to Koch 33 Toyota for allowing me to review this truck. This is actually where I bought my Toyota Tacoma. So for all your Toyota needs, you can visit Koch 33 right off of Route 33 in Easton, Pennsylvania or at Koch33Toyota.com. Well, it has been a long time coming, but thanks to Koch 33, I finally can compare the Tundra and the Tacoma for you guys. I know a lot of you were asking me to do that in previous videos in the comment section, so I'm happy I can finally deliver. This is a 2020 TRD Sport Tacoma, and this is a 2020 TRD Off-Road Limited Tundra. Unfortunately, I couldn't get an exact comparison for the higher trims of these guys. They do a little bit differently on the Tundra, but I am happy to say that most of the interior and exterior features are pretty similar on these models. So let's get started. On the front here, you're gonna get Toyota Safety Sense for both of these guys. That's basically gonna be your radar guided cruise control. And then up in the top, you get little cameras up there for your lane keeping assist and the additional Toyota Safety Sense features that come standard on the Tundra and the Tacoma. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it comes standard across the entire Toyota lineup, even from the base model up which is really cool. Not many other manufacturers are doing that. Really nice and progressive of Toyota to be doing that. Here you get a giant ridiculous chrome grill on the Tundra. Again, I've stated I'm not a huge fan of chrome. I don't think it's terrible with this kind of powder blue color opposed to it, but I'm more uh, akin to the reserve. Well, it's not reserved. I mean, this is in voodoo blue. This is like really, this is probably the least reserved a pickup truck could be without being, I don't know, like on fire or something. But I do like the non-chrome look of the Tacoma to this Tundra specifically. You do get a big hood scoop in here. Unfortunately, it's non-functional on the Tacoma. You do get this kind of hood scoop in here, but there is an option for an alternative hood scoop up on the top as well for the Tundra. This one just happens to not have it. I do like this darker gray grill on the Tacoma too. I think that it flows a little bit more nicely with the front of it. That's just me though. Here you have LED daytime running light indicators here. You get that on the Tundra as well. It's a little bit more of a wraparound design. I tend to like that. You also get LED headlights and fog lights. Here you're still getting halogens on the Tacoma for the headlights and the fog lights. You do have the option though for LEDs on the 2020 now with wraparound, with a wraparound design kind of similar to how the Tundra does it. This, this one just isn't optioned with that. So it is, it is available. All right, let's look under the hoods. Underneath the hood, the Tundra is powered by a 5.7 liter V8, making 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. And underneath the Tacoma's hood, it's powered by a 3.5 liter V6, making 265 horsepower and 278 foot-pound of torque. Now moving on to the profiles of the two trucks, I think they're both aggressive in their own right. I happen to like the sleeker, more thin design of the Tacoma as opposed to the boxier, more kind of bulky, aggressive look of the Tundra. That's just me. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. I really like both of them, but I just feel like this design is like the biggest and bulkiest out of all the full-size pickup trucks. Maybe that's just me. Hopefully for the 2021 or 2022 redesign for the Tundra, it maybe sheds some pounds. Still think it doesn't look bad though. Right here, you do have 20 inch wheels. I do like the two-tone design in them. I think that that's pretty cool. Chrome mirror cap here. You're gonna get a lot of chrome logos and traditional running boards. No option for power on the Tundra. 
It does have these really cool door handles with the body color match, but also a chrome insert. What you do here is you tap right there. That's gonna lock the Tundra. Put your hand right there. That's go, well, okay. Yep, there we go. Now that's gonna unlock the Tundra. You gotta hold your hand there for a second. Moving down the back here, limited badge in chrome, fuel cap, and then it just says TRD 4x4 off-road with red accenting on the sticker right there. Overall, nice design on it. I, I do think it's nice. You get heated mirrors and blind spot monitoring, though it doesn't look like there's a turn signal indicator on this particular one. Moving to the Tacoma, you do get 17-inch wheels, again with the two-tone kind of silver and black design. I really like that. You do get a turn signal indicator on this one's mirror as well as heating, no blind spot it looks like on this one. Th that is an option on the Tacoma though. Same with the door handle, tap once, that's gonna lock it. And then if you hold your hand here, you wait, come on, there we go. <laughs> you wait for it to beep and then it will unlock the door. Really like that feature. A lot of vehicles are adopting that nowadays. Moving to the back here, pretty standard body color door handles. You do get TRD 4x4 Sport in silver on the back here. Overall, it's kind of up to you which one, which design you like the most. Uh, like I said, I prefer the Tacomas, but I still do really like the Tundras, like aggressive, uh, aggressiveness, the aggressive aggressiveness the Tundra has. <laughs> All right, let's move to the back. All right, moving to the payload and towing capacity. This is really precarious. I don't know why I decided to Jean-Claude Van Damme this part, but you know what? I thought it would make a cool shot. Payload and towing capacity time. The towing capacity of the Tacoma is up to 6,800 pounds if properly equipped. Towing on the Tundra is 10,200 pounds if properly equipped. And this has a payload of 1,620. This has a payload of 1,730. This has a spray and bed liner while this uses a composite bed liner design. It's designed to uh, hold up a little bit longer than a traditional one would, even with the spray in. So this guy also has some uh, tie downs. This Tundra across the back, Tacoma bed mat in this particular Tacoma. This one also, as a dealer added option, comes with a trifold tonneau cover. I think that concludes the back. Ow, my legs hurt. I, I had it parked further. I couldn't stretch that far. I was like, I gotta get him closer to. How am I gonna do this? Who? All right, now stepping inside, I'm going to do this as sort of a walk around because we have covered the Tundra and Tacoma in the past on this channel. So I'm just going to give a brief overview. Boy, it's windy. I can't wait to get inside. You have this nice leathery texture right here and hard touch plastic here. Tweeter, because you do have the JBL sound system in this truck, as well as automatic front windows down um, on, and auto up on both of them back are powered but not auto down cup holders in here moving inside you do have this kind of nice faux wood texture i really like how that contrasts with the light gray interior here with the black you do get an eight inch touchscreen display in the tundra this is larger for the 2020 year it also has apple carplay and android auto you did not see that on previous years of the tundra this one happens to also have seat heating you're going to get your reverse parking sensors back down here you get two USB ports whoop, for that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then it uh, looks like a, just a standard charging port. 12 volt down here. And then you are going to have your climate controls in here. It says limited across here, but you do get a really plentiful large amount of storage space. Traditional shifter on this. I actually noticed this when I was pulling the truck up. You can just spin this shifter off. I'm like, well, that's not a good design, <laughs> but... Um, because I've noticed at auto shows, they always take these off, presumably because someone would steal it. Who would need it? No idea, but someone would steal it. That's always a fact. Moving to the steering wheel here, you are gonna have steering wheel controls on here, just like you will on the Tacoma. Same button layout of volume and everything like this, and then that controls the small screen in the center display here. So you get stuff like all your safety sense you can monitor, as well as your music, compass, and everything like that. The check engine light is on because I do not have the engine of the truck actually on. If I actually turned this on, it would be fine. And we see that little cute Tundra graphic with its little sparkly stuff. That is cute. Moving up here, you do have a sunroof, which is nice. All the controls for that. And then I cannot get over 
that this one has a power rear window in the fact that you can put the entire window down. Such a cool design. I raved about that in my original Tundra video. Still love it. It is fantastic. Really honestly think it's such a cool feature that more trucks should adopt. I don't know if Toyota copyrighted that or not. Overall, the interior in here is nice. The back seats, plenty of leg room. You do get two climate vents down here, but no heating or anything like that. That would be nice to see in this truck. But other than that, very spacious interior and very comfortable. These seats are very plush. Let's move to the Tacoma. All right, so stepping inside the Tacoma, the first thing we can notice for the 2020 model year is there is power seats. Finally, that is so neat. Something we did not see on the previous models. Let me close the door to get rid of this ringing. You're also going to get this really nice 8-inch touchscreen display. The 8-inch touchscreen display is the same size as the Tundras, but it obviously looks much larger inside this smaller Tacoma. Really like how it is laid out, like the buttons on the side. Really makes it look upper scale and really feel upper scale in here. You're going to have your climate controls right here. You are power rear wind I got to turn the truck on first this is push button start as well as the tundra so both of them do have that feature you do get a power sliding rear window though it would be nice for the Tacoma to have the power sliding all the way down window I don't know why they couldn't do that but I don't design pickup trucks I just review them that is what I do so moving below the climate controls in the window here you do get wireless charging which is absent on the tundra to my knowledge. This one also does have the curse of the spinny gear shifter. My truck can do that, but this one also has the added benefit of having leather here. I have not tried to fully spin off this or my own trucks one because of the leather right here. I'm sure that would tear. So there is a little bit more um, holding this one in as opposed to the Tundra. But if we move to the center here, as I mentioned, you'll have the same steering wheel controls you see on the Tundra. Similar door controls. You're gonna have uh, power down automatically on the uh, and auto up on this and regular power down but you have to you have to manually pull them back up too um this turns on the ac power in the back of the bed i forgot to mention that there is a power outlet back there which i think is really neat you are going to get a little bit of storage down here not as much as the tundras obviously but this is a much more confined cabin there is an option available for a sunroof this one unfortunately does not have it it is really cozy in here though it's a pretty similar gauge cluster to the tundra in here with all your information and then if you turn the truck off and then you turn it back on just like the tundra oh, oh yeah you get that little tacoma design in there coming through that is uh, really cool how all the trucks do that now where they have their little little uh, Look at I'm a tough truck when you boot up the truck other than that It is a nice interior cloth seats not leather unlike the tundra the tundra does have the leather But it is a little bit higher trim. I like the texture of these seats. No heating on this though. It is an option Overall really nice interior. I like what Toyota does with it. I think it's simple I just really like how this is all laid out right here I think that that's just such an excellent design. It really feels trucky. Some of the other trucks, like the Ranger, kind of swoop the dash, and that feels more like an SUV or a car. And I just like how this is a, an almost completely flat front end. Almost reminds me of a Jeep, and I and I that in a good way. That it is a really nice way. In the back here, not as much legroom, obviously. You do get two sets of cup holders, and there is USBs in here uh, in the console that you could thread through to the back occupants, but there is no climate vents or USBs specifically back there, and no fold down third armrest there. That is just a standard seat, though the seats do fold down in the back, just like in the Tundra. Overall, pretty nice back here. All right, let's wrap this thing up. So that concludes my comparison of the Tacoma and the Tundra. Hopefully this was really informative and could help influence your guys' buying decision if you were stuck between these two trucks. I hope I gave a detailed enough video for you. If you did like this video, you can feel free to subscribe. You can leave a comment, let me know if I missed anything, and leave a like on the video, that would really help. So for all your Toyota needs, you can visit Koch 33 in Easton, Pennsylvania, right off of Route 33, or you can visit them at their website. I really am just so thankful for how accommodating they have been 
for me. My sleeve is falling down. Let me go put my sleeve up really quick. <laughs> Take care, guys. No matter what truck you have, I'll pray it lasts you a long time and it serves you well. See you around.